For your safety, Creative World personally asks you to ask a helping hand from an adult to use dangerous materials such as cutters, sharp objects, and superglue. Please do not hesitate to disobey this tip for your safety, especially if you are a young viewer. Creative World isn't responsible for any accidents and disobedience. Thank you. Hey dudes, I don't know why I've just thought of this, but in honor of the release of the Gabriel Knight reboot, no, in honor of me finishing the Gabriel Knight reboot, I thought you might want to know how to make your own replica of the Talisman. You know, in case voodoo hits your city. That reminds me, I should take a sample of my hair for that old lady in the market who asked for some. But don't worry, I'm not stupid, I've got this! So I thought I should take over. So the materials you're going to need are a set of acrylic paints, and more specific, gold paint, cardboard, carton, masking tape, newspapers, glue, and a ball pen. Now you do that before Ted or the cops are knocking. Hey guys, you like my new position? The one where your camera is on top now? Well, then you're gonna like it even better. So the first thing we're gonna do is that I, well, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw out the talisman for you. So, you won't make any mistakes and stuff, you can just rewind it to this part. Alright, so we start with the circle. And then there's another circle. There's a wheel within a wheel. Sorry, my drawing isn't really perfect. And then there are stuff on the side like this. Like this looks like a bicycle wheel, like that. And then there's this. And it shows that one half of this is the sun, and one half of this is the moon. Now there are these. There's a ring over here. This is where the chain goes. Same stuff on the sides. Anyway, so there's gems here. These, this is a red gem. There's a red gem here. Or I don't know what it's called. A ruby or something like that. Well, anyway, then there's a green one here. Green. And on the other side, too. Green. And then at the bottom, there's like a line there that separates water from fire. I'm not sure about that. There's sort of a water wiggly line here of water. And then at the bottom, there's fire. And now we are going to draw the lion and the snake here. Now, if you're worried that you're not a good uh, sketcher or drawer, the, the easiest way to do this is just to draw it in circles. First, you draw the head of the lion, circle there, and then the muscles there. Basically, just follow what I draw. This is the lion. The first thing I'm going to draw is the lion. This is the other leg, the paw. And then the rest of the lion there, the hind legs, and now the tail, just like that. And then you can draw just random hair of the lion there. And now for the snake, you don't need to draw circles, you just have to draw a snake there. There's a snake going under the hind legs of the lion, and then it's gonna come out behind the head of the lion. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is that you're going to have to find a circle that fits your whole hand like this. My tape is like a full circle, so I'm gonna draw that on... Actually, I'm gonna first draw it on this cardboard. You have to have different... Uh, there's carton and cardboard. First, I'm gonna draw it on the cardboard. There we go. And now you do it on the carton. Now we're going to start with the cardboard first. We are going to cut the circle out. Make sure it's still a perfect circle, don't mess it up. Or else you have to do it again. Alright, now if you're going to ask why I have two of these, one is carton and one is cardboard, well this is actually going to look like this, there's a hole in the middle. Alright, so to make that, you have to draw the hole too. Anyway, cut that out. This is so dangerous, but I'm doing it because I'm freaking badass. No, don't do this. If you don't know, I'm talking about being badass. My point is, don't be badass if you can't be badass. Or if your parents tell you to not be badass. Alright, there we go. Now we are going to glue it onto the cardboard. There we go. <laughs> now try to match it with the whole circle. Now oh, this looks perfect, ain't it, ain't it? Now wait for it to dry. 
Now, here's a little job for you to do. Now, if your carton is uh, kind of thin and not a thick carton, then cut out another piece. And then stick it to the back of the cardboard so it makes a thick talisman. I put it underneath. Now you've got a talisman that's actually thick. Now glue it together. Whoop! Smiley face. And then whoops. So we are going to do these now. Things that look like a flower with a circle gem thing there. So first we are going to do these stuff which looks like leaves. So we're gonna call it leaves. We are going to do the leaves. Now make sure you have the right size. So you take the carbo, I mean the carton, and then you do that there. You re-sketch it, and then you have one. And then just basically copy it in every piece of carton. You know, making the talisman looks easy, but when you're actually doing it, it's super hard. Like you have to put a lot of detail on it. Now we are going to make where uh, a place to put the gems on. But first, we're going to put this on the talisman when it's actually dry enough. So let's take the masking tape, make little pieces out of it, and then stick them all over the sides. Now, as it's uh, sort of dry, we are going to do the gems. So, for the red gem, we're going to put uh, a platform for it like this it's act the red gem is actually kind of big so it's going to be like that and now we're going to draw two small circles for the green ones there we go that should be big enough and for the hook i forgot to draw the hook we are just going to make a ring out of it so we are going to make this line and then we are going to cut that out or you could do it actually on the cardboard just do it on the cardboard okay Now this goes, the red gem goes underneath. And there we go. Yeah. Now if you're gonna need to use more tape because it's loose, use more tape. There we go. Now we're going to make the hook. Don't forget the hook, man. Don't forget the hook. If you forget the hook, just remember to say Peter Pan so you'll remember hook. And we're gonna use this. Make it a lot more thinner. This. And then if it's too long, don't cut it. Roll it up. So it'll be more thick and tougher. Thick and tougher. Make, uh, try to make it as big as the platform for the red gem. Now tape it. Attach it with tape on the last piece of leaves. You are going to be a Shaden Jaeger in no time. There we go, Shaden Jaeger. Now what, the only thing we're missing is the lion and the snake and the everything else, the fire, the water, and the sun and the moon. So we're going to do that by using newspaper and doing paper mache on it. Now, I do not have newspaper, but I do have recyclable uh, paper bag, so we're going to use that instead. And it's uh, thicker than newspaper, so I guess that works. First, we are going to start with the sun. Now, it's uh, the newspaper or paper bag should be just uh, this big. Because we are going to use masking tape to cover it up. And we cover it up in the masking tape. You realize we are not actually going to put newspaper and watered glue on it. We are just going to cover it up with tape. Make it look smooth because it's a sun. A sun isn't jaggedy. Well, as you see with your very own eyes. Now we are going to put more details on it later. First, we are going to do uh, the line here. You can actually just use carton, I mean, or cardboard, and then use that. Alright, it's too long, but it does good. It cuts right here. Now we are just... Oh no, you can you can tape it, just use glue. There we go. Put it right uh, beside the bottom, but not at the bottom. Just where it's good. 
So the next thing we're gonna do is that we are going to build fire again with cardboard. If you don't know how to make fire, to draw fire, it's just like uh, teeth of a monster uh, goes up and down, up and down. And we are going to shave it a little bit because it's too tall. Now I'm gonna draw the line that goes with, that makes it go with the carton. So we're going to cut that out in that specific line. Alright, that's better. Now I glue it. Glue it in the bottom. And spread it out. Oh! Now that's good. Now, the last thing we're going to do is the lion and the snake. Get the newspaper and then make the muscles. You know what? I'm just gonna draw it again for you so you won't be confused. I will draw it for you. This is the circle of the head. This is the muscle. So, what we are going to do again is the butt. Now we are going to do the tail. The tail is just a lot of twisting and then I'm going to tape it itself. For the snake, the only thing we have got to do is uh, the same thing we did with the tail. We just roll up more things. Now, when that's done, the next thing we're going to do are we're going to do the gems now. Now for the gems, we are going to do the same with the lions. We are going to get uh, newspapers or used paper bags and then we're going to stick them there as gems like these. I've already started, see? There's one there. Now for the second one. Now for the last one. Now we have it. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint it. Now if you have gold paint, you obviously paint it in gold. But if you don't, then use just yellow, just bright yellow. But first, before we paint it with yellow or gold, we have to cover it in white paint. If you're gonna ask why exactly, it's because the result is gonna be much better if you start with white. Alright, now I got yellow paint. Alright, and I'm gonna paint it all over. See that? It's so bright if you use white paint first, if you cover it in white paint first. Like the video if you love this project. Because I do, I would like it if I don't subscribe to my own, my own channel, which is actually kind of stupid. And now we watch it dry. Now, before we continue painting it, and yes, we are not done painting it, we are going to draw some details. Now, you should literally get a picture from Google Images. See? Now, I'll do the lion first. Now we're done. Now, to paint the gems without painting all over the thing, the first thing you have to do is cover the sides with masking tape. And now we paint it. The bottom one is red, remember? And the side, side gems are green. And when it's done, take 
the covers off. There we go, get up, get the rules. So we're gonna do the same to the others. And we're good! <laughs> now when the pen dries, you can draw some outlines with the ball pen so it looks uh, like a real gem or something like that. Get it? And now for the final touches. The, what we're going to do is we're going to make it a little dusty. And you have to use like a, a kind of small paintbrush but not a really small one like this. That's what it looks like. And then you dip it black. Uh, but before you paint it, you don't paint it just like that. You have to uh, do this. I don't know what it's called. You make it look dusty by landing the paintbrush on it with a little black paint left. So we're gonna do that again. Get the black paint off by doing this. And then, that's when you do the same on the talisman. And now for the final, final, final touches. Sorry, I didn't keep count of the final touches. We are going to paint it, not with paint, but glue. To make it look glossy and realistic, you paint it with glue. There we go, there we go. And now when this is dried out, you can put it on a chain or not uh, a fake chain, like a plastic chain, and then put it on this hook. Make sure this hook is, st is really stuck there pretty well so it doesn't just come off like that. So that is how you make a Gabriel Knight talisman. Or in other words, a Shadow Jaeger talisman. Congratulations! So thank you for watching and don't forget to share this video to Gabriel Knight fans. Press the subscribe button and don't forget to leave a comment on what I should make next. And make it fun, make it game related, make it movie related, and don't make it stupid. So remember, when evil comes a knocking, I'm a Shannon Yeager!